Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. So, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a Q&A on labor and delivery for a C-section. Um, as you guys know, I got a C-section with baby boy and a lot of you guys had a lot of questions for me. So I went ahead and I um, asked you guys on Instagram to ask me the questions you guys had again. So I can go ahead and answer them for you. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. But before, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss any new videos. Um, so I'm going to get right to it. So the first question is, are you using Baja? Yes, I am. So I do use a faja. I put it on right after I deliver. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys actually. So I'm actually wearing this faja. It's a Colombiana faja. Um, so yeah, it's like a body uh, faja. Um, do you ever feel baby blues? Um, no, I haven't so far with this pregnancy. I haven't. Um, thank God. How is it wearing a faja after C-section? Honestly, um, with both my C-section, I didn't have a problem with it. Like, it didn't bother me at all. Uh, so yeah, it actually helps me with the pain, um, so I really highly recommend a faja. How was it getting a second C-section? I had my baby a month ago. She's my second vaginal. Um, honestly, it was the same. Uh, they put like they numb you, so you don't feel anything. Uh, as far as to when they're doing the C-section, besides like pressure, and you could feel like the tucking and stuff but other than that while they're doing it like you don't feel anything how is your postpartum different from when you had your daughter and your son what did you struggle with well so far i'm actually about to hit two weeks um so for sure something different is uh the the pain level um, I feel with Camila, everything was much worse, like, pain-wise. Um, and just, like, getting around and stuff. But this time around, they did a lot of different things, uh, like, to prep me. Um, and then, like, the aftercare was also different. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the only thing I would say is different. But other than that, everything was the same. Uh, so like with Camila they didn't do like nothing like preparation besides like fasting and then with this one it was fasting but I had to drink a Gatorade uh, two hours before my surgery and that's to help prevent like nausea after the surgery and then um, they actually got me to get up faster this time with Camila, they didn't let me walk till I think 24 hours. And with this one, they made me walk 12 hours. Um, they just say it's like, it's uh, better when, I guess it's a new technique they're doing um, to help you recover faster. With Camila, they only gave me stool softeners and that didn't help at all. So I went home without using the restroom. I didn't poop for like two weeks with Camila. Uh, and it was so painful like I would cry on the toilet like I had to go and get laxatives in order to help me poop because I couldn't like it was the worst experience ever and with this pregnancy um they gave me laxative they gave me laxatives and then they gave me still softeners um so I pooped the the next day um so that was like my a relief for me because I literally that was like my biggest um, concern because I suffered so much with Camila. Like guys, when I say I suffered, like oh man, I know you might think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Like Christian was sick 
sit there with me like well he wouldn't sit there with me I would be sitting in the toilet and he'll be right there with me because I'll be crying like because I had to go and I couldn't like it was the worst but anyway so yeah that's pretty much what was different so far with the with that um how do you deal with having a c-section and raise and raising care of the, and taking care of the baby um well honestly the baby he's actually really good thank god so he just wakes up to eat and then he goes back to sleep like right now he's right here <laughs> um and so thank god i'm blessed with such a good baby uh so really and then camila she's so good too so she's just chilling the whole day and like we try and keep her busy with like coloring or whatever but um so far everything is good i, I don't feel like um how are you feeling i'm actually feeling really well i feel like i'm recovering very fast um which is good how to take care of the c-section and fun how you use um, so I actually wanted to mention this. My sister recommended me that I drink um, arnica with anise, it, a tea, and I've started drinking as soon as I got home. And I believe that's what has helped me to recover faster um, and to like unswell from my stomach quick. Um, so I've been drinking that ever since I got home. It's about to be two weeks and. I feel like that has helped me a lot pain wise and to like disinflammar. Um, so yeah, I really recommend the, drinking that tea. Uh, shout out to my sister Janet. <laughs> and then La Faja, like I mentioned, is the one from, um, it's a Colombiana Faja. You could, they have different kinds, um, but if you go to like a Faja place or whatever, um just tell them you want a colombiana faja and then they'll tell you because they're like hard they don't really they don't stretch so like it literally will snatch you okay another question what you eat so right now i'm only eating oatmeals i'm eating oatmeal i'm eating caldo de pollo um pretty much <laughs> that's all i'm eating caldo de pollo and oatmeal um i'll have uh like fruit not cold fruit but like banana apples um orange i've had popcorn like when i when i want a snack and then like if i'm craving like something before bed i'll have like a cream cheese toast um so that's pretty much all that i'm eating I have a C-section too, and I want to know where I can, want to know when I can wear a faja. Honestly, you could wear a faja right away. I mean, I don't know about your guys' hospital, but like, at, at my hospital, even with Camila and this pregnancy, they give you a faja there. Obviously, it's not like as good as the one I'm wearing right now, but like right after you have the baby, ellos te fajan, like do te fajan. So, um, so like with with Camila um obviously I didn't I wouldn't know as much but like I was wearing their faja the, while I was at the hospital and as soon as I left I put mine on but with this one I um like as soon as they took me to the room they put their faja on and um I couldn't get up yet so I couldn't I couldn't put my faja on but as soon as I got up I asked the nurse that um that i wanted to switch my faja and she said yeah that's fine um so yeah so you should be able to faja it right away um there shouldn't be a reason why you can't did you happen to get postpartum depression um so like I, uh no i haven't got postpartum depression i'm two weeks in and i feel good um is this recovery better or harder than coming that's by the way you look good girl after birth oh thank you uh so uh, like i mentioned it's way easier i believe like recovery wise but i think because i've done things a little different like i mentioned the tea um with camila yeah I, I had way more pain and yeah of course don't get me wrong like there's times where i still have pain i still take pain meds 
but um like recovery wise i feel like this one it's going smoother than with camila and i don't take like heavy meds um i only take uh tylenol because i'm breastfeeding um i don't like to take the heavy meds um i just suck it up but i also have a high level of pain tolerance so maybe that could be too so it really depends like on your pain tolerance i just suck it up because i don't know i just think of like oh man i'm breastfeeding it's gonna go to him so that's why i don't take the like heavy pain meds uh can it be really hard transitioning to being a mom of two how is that going for you uh look thankfully i'm lucky with camila that she's so good uh so so far it hasn't been hard it's been good um she's about to start school uh, cool <laughs> she's about to start school so we'll see once she starts school and you know i have to get her ready and take her to school and stuff like that maybe that'll be a little more challenging but right now that we're just home um it's going good tuve mi tercera cesárea fue lo que menos me dolió crees que los doctores con experiencia ayudan si sí, yo creo que cuando un doctor tiene experiencia todo va mucho más rápido y mejor esta vez me tocó un doctor que tenía mucha experiencia y que muchos lo, lo um, piden para cesárea y sí, like, entró y como que sabía qué estaba haciendo y bien, te hace sentir bien um, relajada, siente su energía. Um, ¿Cómo vas con la lactación? So, voy bien, uh, en, nomás estoy dando puro pecho. Um, le doy y le doy pecho al niño y en cuanto él acaba de comer me saco lo demás de leche nomás para que pues, siga reprodu re reproduciendo más leche um, so, hasta ahorita todavía estoy sacando mucha leche Cam con Camila también saqué mucha leche hasta que um, le dejé de dar que fue como un año y medio uh, so, sí, gracias a Dios todo va bien y él solito luego luego se me pegó no tuve a uh, dificultad any complications with the second c-section so no thank god i don't have any complication everything went smooth how is first part postpartum with two kids at home so far so good thank god congrats i have a girl and just had a baby boy three weeks ago do you get sewn or staples so I actually got sewn from the inside, but on the outside I only got glued. And I am um, there's this new thing that some doctors are using. It's like a band-aid. Um and so yeah, they put the band-aid over it and so you don't get sewn or stapled on the outside. When y'all had to wait a little longer in the other room where you in pain. Um if you're talking about in the recovery room yes uh well i wasn't in pain because i had all the drugs um but i didn't feel like myself like i felt you know like when you're coming down <laughs> from like all the anesthesia and stuff so i was like itchy i was ex like my body was just exhausted i just wanted to rest um i wasn't in pain yet because just because i said like they had just put morphine and stuff in, in me um for the pain uh but yeah uh usa alguna crema para desinflamar el vientre so no uso ninguna crema pero uso tomo el té de um abdica con anís uh, se lo recomiendo es para desinflamar el vientre got cut off i don't know where um but like i was mentioning for the c-section um incision pain i've been taking my telenol and ibuprofen and that helps me to like calm down the pain and also the tea also the faja helps me with the pain 
so that's why I like to wear my faja all day every day because it helps you with the pain and when I don't like because obviously like sometimes I take off the faja because I get hot or just to like breathe a little bit and like that's when I feel the more the most pain when I don't have it on okay how was everything baby boy is handsome like his daddy by the way I watched the video thank you everything went went smooth thank god hola hola <laughs> How was your incision? Did it hurt bad? So the incision is actually pretty small. It's not that big. Um, like I mentioned, it does hurt. But nothing you can't handle. And if you can't handle, you just pop some pills. <laughs> but other than that, uh, how are you feeling after your C-section? Other than that, I'm feeling great. Um, thank God. Uh, the toughest week was the first week. It's when I needed a lot of help, um, like changing and stuff, because you know you're super, you're super sore. All right, guys. So that was pretty much all the questions. I hope I answered all your guys' questions. If you guys have any more questions, comment down below, and I'll try and answer your questions as best as I can. Um. So yeah, and guys, if you guys are having a C-section, um, drink that tea after birth and trust me it's gonna help you guys so much and you'll thank me later and then use your faja for sure vaginal or c-section use your faja it's gonna help your body go right back to to um how it was before birth obviously it's gonna take a little bit of time but use your faja use it every day sleep with it if you can um, if you need a break from it, yeah, take it off for a couple hours. That's totally fine. Uh, but trust me, if you, the more you wear the faja, the faster that it's going to help you to get back to your normal self. And you'll feel better. Um, especially if you have a C-section. Pain-wise, it's going to help you pain-wise. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you guys baby boy real quick. He's so good. I'm telling you. He's like not that right here. I'm going to show you guys with my phone. Look at that little cutie. <laughs> He's knocked out. No mas come. Y caga. Y otra vez. Come, caga, duerme. Come, caga, duerme. So that's how he does. He eats, sleep, and poops all day and all night um but thank god he's such a good baby and camila's such a good girl um so yeah guys so i thank you guys all for showing us so much love and support um with baby boy we appreciate it so much and we're 70k already thank you guys thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts it means a lot um so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you guys haven't already, I turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every time we post a new video. Love you.